This is iCrime. And that's your first look at iCrime, a true crime series that you can check out right here on DC News Now. And we want to bring in the host and also one of the executive producers of the program, Elizabeth Vargas. Elizabeth, thank you so much for being here. A lot of people already recognize your name, your face, and your work. You've been on networks ABC, Fox, A&E for the past 15 years, but iCrime is different. It goes through crimes captured on cell phones, a kind of footage that we didn't have 25 years ago. But nowadays, video on a cell phone could be the single most important piece of evidence in a criminal case. Talk to us about your show. Yeah, I think, you know, anybody just needs to look at the re at recent history to see how incredibly important and vital these cell phone videos have been. I mean, first of all, every man, woman, and child has one of these in their pocket or their purse. And with it, they can take video that rivals, you know, cameras that we professional news crews can bring to, to scenes, and they're there when it happens. So, I mean, look, you know, Derek Chauvin would not be sitting in prison today if there wasn't cell phone video of him kneeling on George Floyd's neck. And the killers of Ahmaud Arbery wouldn't be in prison today if, if there wasn't cell phone video of them killing Arbery as he jogged through that neighborhood in Georgia. And Kyle Rittenhouse might not be uh, out a free man today if he hadn't had cell phone video that showed him actually feeling like he was acting in self-defense, that he was under attack. So we've seen these videos play crucial roles already in the criminal justice system and the way we talk about crime. And right now, at a time when crime is really spiking all across the country, more and more people are taking videos. And these videos are proving crucial when it comes to making arrests, figuring out what happened, figuring out who broke the law, and figuring out how to prosecute them. And Elizabeth, the program is 30 minutes long. It airs five nights a week from Monday to Friday. How did this idea even begin? Creating this program, finding all of these videos, and actually having access to footage that may be in the hands of police or the court? Well, many of these videos are posted by the users themselves. I mean, people have a natural, I mean, if something astonishing happens to you or you witness something incredible, there's a natural inclination to want to share it with people. Many of these people put them on YouTube and post them on websites themselves. We also, as of today, have a new uh, website up, iCrime.tv. We're hoping people will submit videos directly to us. And we don't just show these videos, Tasmin. It's important to say we also um, talk to uh, prosecutors and defense attorneys about what laws were broken and what you can do to protect yourself to police officers about how to secure a, a crime scene and what to do if you see this sort of crime unfold in front of you and how to protect yourself. We talked to a retired air marshal about all those air rage videos that we're seeing on airplanes and even in airports. Um, and in addition, we talked to the witnesses themselves that you see in these videos, the people who recorded the videos, and even the victims of the crimes in those videos. And they all sort of speak out about what's happening and what you're seeing. So I want to focus on that. It. The past couple of months, like you said, you've been talking to victims, witnesses, bystanders behind these videos. What were you surprised to learn as you were breaking down each of these cases? You know, that's a great question. I think that when you, because I've seen now hundreds of these videos and working on all these shows, and I think... Um, two things have struck me the most. Um, the first is that I don't think, even though I've been as a reporter and a journalist, I've reported on and been on ride-alongs with officers and that sort of thing, I think I have once again a true appreciation for how difficult the job of a police officer often is. All of us want a police officer there when the most awful thing might be happening right in front of us or we need help. Um, and I think in some of these videos, we've seen how really difficult and sometimes downright scary their jobs can be. And I've also got a real appreciation, I've got to tell you, for, oh, my God, if you're angry or really scared or having a really intense emotion, pause. So many of these videos show people at their worst possible moments doing and saying things that if they thought for a second or cooled down for a second, they wouldn't do. And of course, because the videos are there and there's nothing more reliable than that, eyewitness testimony is very unreliable. These videos don't lie. And many times these videos have the power to convict people and send them to prison. I, I love that observation and just that you notice that. So when I knew that I'd be talking to you, I looked it up. The first camera phone, BH at BNH says that was released in June of 2000. But Elizabeth, I don't know if you know this, it was so primitive at that time. It could only take 20 exposures, but now like you said, <laughs> 
in the Derek Chauvin trial, in so many other cases, cell phone footage could impact the outcome of a jury trial. How wild is that? It is really amazing. I mean, you think about it. These iPhones, I was talking to my son last night about this. I use my phone for making calls about 2% of the time. The other 98% of the time, I'm doing something else. I'm working on my phone. I'm, look, I'm looking for things on the internet on my phone. I'm checking my social media on my phone. I'm taking pictures and videos on my phone. It's an amazing device we have in our hands and the power that it has is extraordinary. And that's what this show hopes to uh, really, really sort of explore. And Elizabeth, last question. You're telling people to stay alert and hit record and you brought it up earlier. So for those of you who are watching our conversation in the DMV, how can their video also appear on your show? The easiest way is to send them to us directly at iCrime.tv. It couldn't be easier, iCrime.tv. Um, if you have a great video, we'll put it on television. Maybe we'll put you on television as well if you're a witness to something like that. All right, Elizabeth Vargas, thank you so much for being here for your time. And make sure you watch iCrime with Elizabeth Vargas. It's debuting tonight at 8 p.m. only on DC News Now.